Kitty Solomon was one of the big winners at this year's Sunday Star Time Short Story Awards with her story Ao Tui. Solomon was named Emerging Māori Writer of the Year and picked up $1,500 prize money at the 39th year of the awards ceremony. Kitty Solomon of Ngāti Puro, Ngāti Kahu Ki Whangaroa is with us now. Tēnā koe, Kitty. Thank you for joining us and congratulations on your award. Thank you. Tēnā koe, Nim. How did you feel winning Emerging Māori Writer of the Year? Oh, it was, um, it was amazing, actually. I'm feeling very humbled, very grateful. I know that there are some amazing writers that entered the competition. So, um, yeah, I'm still a bit gobsmacked, to be honest. <laughs> so, yeah, feeling great, feeling grateful. Well, talk us through your writing journey. How early did you feel this was the path you wanted to take? Um, I've always loved stories. I've always loved reading. I've always been that kid in the library just inhaling books. Uh, more recently, it's been more academically focused. So um, I enjoyed with this this uh, journey being able to merge some of my academic stuff with the uh, uh, Māori Māori that's been shared with me and my life experiences. So, yeah, yeah, I'm just enjoying the ride at the moment, to be honest. Yeah, and, and so you should, and well-deserved. Where did the inspiration come from for your book, Our Tui? Well, um, I've been very privileged to work alongside Kaumatua Reriata Makiha uh, around Maramataka. And so I wanted to be able to share something, some of his knowledge in a different context. Uh, there are amazing wahine and tāne already sharing the Maramataka knowledge in different contexts. So I thought, you know, we'll, we'll try to do something within the fiction space. Now, I hope I don't put you on the spot. I've read a lot of short stories. I read a lot of uh, novels. <laughs> what makes a short story over a, a novel? I think it's just shorter. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Simple. Uh, I know. Yeah, yeah, you know. I think that. Um, well, there was a, a word limit for uh, this this particular um, submission, so I think it was three thousand, which is interesting. Okay. Trying to get the three in. Kitty, who who were or are some of your role models? You, you've mentioned Rail in the writing industry. Who who inspired you, and and who did you grow up reading? Well. Um, Whittier, he might, of course. I mean, mm. uh, yeah, he's one of my all-time heroes. Mm. Trisha Grace, Kerry Holm, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and different writings, the writings of Reverend Māori Marsden, Tahir and Nimid, Langi Mā You know, they're all people that uh, share their knowledge in a way that really resonates with me, so, yeah. Well, Witi Ihi might have had some wonderful things to say about your story. In fact, he is quoted as saying its matrices are mainly grounded in Matauranga Māori and are highly referential types of things he mm. would say, but not to everyone and not about everyone. How does it make you feel when someone so highly regarded make these, makes these types of comments? Yeah, still, still gobsmacked. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, I'm, it's been um, a really... Uh, gratifying and humbling experience this whole thing and so you know for me being able to share some of the matauranga that's been shared with me in a way that actually resonates with somebody like Witi Hamaida has been um, a real privilege. Now he's obviously someone very special to you what kind of relationship were you able to have or are you able to have as someone in the same industry? Well um Nothing really. I know as, as it happens in the Māori world, you know, he knows my dad. That's, <laughs> that's <laughs> probably about it. The, um, the short stories were all judged um, blind. So as they're all, um, nobody, they didn't know who the writers were. So I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I, I use the word fangirling yep. with the Sunday Star, Star Time staff. So yep. if, I think, you know, just even getting those comments about my work was enough. Um, I can, you know, that's enough for me now. That's, that's wonderful. I do the same thing. I don't know if I'm allowed to say it, but I do the same thing. Kitty Solomon, author of Our Tui, thank you so much for joining us today and congratulations again. Well deserved. Te nā koe. Nā mihi. Thank you very much.